Hello folks, uh, this uh, question belongs to uh, two variants. So it is October 19, uh, November 19, uh, 2000, um, it's uh, paper 4-1, uh, plus it's uh, October, November 2019, paper 4-3. And in both variants, it was in question number 10. So this question is about uh, alternating current here. A bridge rectifier using four idle diodes is shown in figure 10.1. So this is the bridge rectifier. So this diagram is uh, slightly odd compared to the diagram that has been used in textbooks. So there it was uh, like a shape of a rhombus, but here they are showing it uh, the shape of a shape of a rectangle. But uh, anyhow, whatever the shape may be, uh, the main theme is the same. So what happens is we have got uh, four diodes here, four diodes here. The n sides of these two is connected to one one end of the resistor, and the p sides of the remaining two are connected to the another end of the resistor. And uh, for uh, the terminals of the source, so the terminal A is connected to P side and N side of uh, two diodes. And the other, other thing is also connected to P side and N side of other two diodes. So uh, whatever be the shape, uh, the arrangement is same. The sinusoidal arrangement little bit force EMF applied between points A and B has a root mean square value of 7.0 volts. So this thing is equal to VRMS VRMS on figure 10.1 circle the diodes that conduct when point B is positive with respect to point A so B is positive B is positive compared to A so we have to find which diode will conduct so if I go through uh, this thing so plus uh, in contact with the P side P side and uh, <coughs> Uh, yeah, so, so, so in P side, and here we have got uh, uh, this N side in contact with negative. So this is N side, this is P side, P side. Now plus with P side, so other side will be uh, as you deal with uh, in the in the full wave rectifier, bridge rectifier. This point should be at uh, zero between high and low. It should be at zero. So zero is uh, negative compared to P. So it's uh, negative. It's uh, negative. Uh, it's a uh, positive it's positive and uh, then uh, this uh, zero again it is uh, uh, negative positive, just like that so uh, what happens here is um, yeah so this uh, diet P and uh, um, uh, negative here negative here negative here so it should uh, conduct this should conduct and here also we have got negative here this is at zero so this zero should be positive compared to this thing so this will conduct and if we consider other diodes, so it is a plus here, plus in contact with this thing, this thing, so uh, n, this uh, does not conduct, and here minus contact with this uh, p thing, so this does not conduct. So anyway, two diodes will conduct and two will not conduct. Now, uh, so we have to circle these things, so circled, circled, and circled. So number two, uh, calculate the maximum potential difference Vmax across resistor R. So Vmax is equal to Vmax is equal to V peak, and that's equal to root two into uh, VRMS. RMS. So it's a root two into VRMS is a seven point zero. It comes to equal to nine uh, point so little, something like that. Uh, so uh, root two uh, power point five into seven. So nine point eight nine nine. 8994 I suppose so this is nearly equal to 9.9 .9 volts so it is 9.9 .9 volts now the next question so next question says uh, a capacitor is connected into the circuit a capacitor is connected into the circuit uh, to produce smoothing of the potential difference across uh, resistor R so we have to produce a smoothing here smoothing the variation with the time t of the potential difference v across the resistor is as shown so there is a rise in voltage then uh, decrease in voltage again rise decrease and so on on figure 10.1 on this figure draw the symbol for a capacitor connected so as to produce smoothing so in order to produce smoothing the capacitor has to be connected uh, across the resistor so that's why i can connect the capacitor in any way I like it should be across the resistor so either I can connect from here to here here to here or I can connect you from here to here or from here to here and so on so anyway it should be it should be 
parallel to the resistor of R. Now, state the effect, if any, on the magnitude of the ripple. So, ripple is the difference between max and uh, uh, minimum, minimum voltage. Voltage. So, we have to uh, state the effect, if any, on the magnitude of the ripple V. Ripple V when separately a capacitor of larger capacitance is used. So, if I use a larger capacitance here, capacitance here, uh, so with at the same PT, it will be depositing more charge across its uh, plates, plates. So, it can, uh, it can uh, deliver charge for a long time. It can deliver charge for a long time. So, it means that it will decay very slowly, slowly. So, it can deliver charge for a long time means it decays slowly. So, that's why if it happens like this, happens like this, so instead of uh, this thing, if it does like this, like this, then the ripple should decrease. Ripple should decrease. So, in the first case, answer the first case, ripple should decrease. Ripple decreases. Ripple decreases. In the second case, we, we have to use uh, resistor R has smaller resistance. So, if uh, this thing R has got small resistance. What happens is the charge from here will try to uh, try to rush towards this resistor and will decay fast. So will decay fast means that it happens somewhat like this. It will go like this. It will go like this. So it increases the ripple. So in this case, the ripple, the ripple, ripple, ripple increases. It's because uh, uh, resistance is uh, less. So more current will flow out of the same potential difference. So when more current flows, the PD uh, decreases more rapidly. So ripple increases.